Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homesteading, and uh, it's time for the update for the uh, large LED grow tent. All right, let me get my glasses on here and uh, bring the camera over, give you a tour of what's happening with the tent. One thing that I've noticed is that even after changing the watering system, having the uh, water lines from up in the top of the tent to down in the back of the tent and into the bags, I'm still getting excess water collecting inside of this bucket. You know, each, each one of these grow bags that I have has one of these uh, concrete mixing bins underneath it. And you can pick these up at, uh, I picked these up at Home Depot. And they're around $5.97 I don't know, 97 cents or something like that, but they're a plastic, kind of like a little tote. But I like these because they have rounded sides and they fit one of these uh, grow bags that I use. I think these are 15 gallon or 20 gallon grow bags. I can't remember what they are. I mean, I bought these things probably like three, four years ago, but I use them. I used to use them outside, but I use them exclusively inside my grow tent now. But uh, yeah, I'm noticing that there's water collecting still down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get outside. I used to have this uh, kind of like a little mini greenhouse and I had these shutoff valves that you kind of put in line in the drippers. And I'm going to shut just this one off and uh, wait for that water to dissipate out of there and then I'm going to turn it back on maybe half of the value that the rest of these uh, spray nozzles get because for the life of me I can understand how this one is still getting more water than the rest of them. I mean the nozzle for it is the, the, the second one on the drip line back there. You can see the line, my water line comes in here and then there's drip tubing back there that I've got all these plugged into and it's the second one back, so if I was thinking, you know, oh, one of them is going to flood, well, why isn't that one there collecting water like this one here is? I mean, besides that, that's the only concern I really have with the tent right now. Uh, everything else seems to be growing really well. I mean, you can see the, uh, the tomatoes. There's a lot of uh, flowering going on here with my uh, tomato plants. You can see lots of those down there, and you can actually see there's down below, there's some tomatoes already set. So this is going well. All four of the uh, tomatoes in this bag. Actually, I think I took one out. I cannot remember now. Did I leave all four of these guys in here? I think I did. Oh, I did. That one, he's pretty small back there on the side. You can see him. He's back there. He's, he's still coming along, but he's not as big as the other guys. But, uh, yeah, see, like there, here's another, some more fruit set on here, right there. The, uh, the older plant is doing well, and you can see there's that one. Coming out of the bag back there, going up, comes all the way up up to here. And it's reached up to the mid area here. This is that new one, one of the new uh, Indigo Rose tomatoes, as well as the old one back there. It's put on a lot of new growth. And you can see there's some growth up here. There's new uh, new growth coming up there. You can see there's some fruit set. There's another red one back there. I'll be picking for my uh, when I come down here to do my uh, monitoring. Paul has been kind of chiding me that I've been coming down here and uh, eating all the ones that are getting close to being brought upstairs. And she says, you know, we're going to run out of those tomatoes when uh, they go outside and I'm going to start monitoring how many tomatoes are uh, setting down there. So you're not going to be eating them all. Uh, anyway, <laughs> she, knows, she knows that I love tomatoes. Obviously, I mean, if you guys have been watching these videos, I absolutely love tomato plants. And I love, I love what they give me. Uh, you can see here, uh, so we've got these lights that we put back in here. So these are the Mars Hydro, the same as all the rest of the ones in this tent, the 300 waters. And they are over the tops of the spinach, and the spinach has been taking off more. You can see we've got a lot of, a lot of true leaf growth here. It's looking nice. It's filling in. So, uh, look at that. Hey, what's that? Look at that. We got ourselves a tomato that fell down there. Oh, that goes to daddy. <laughs> Uh, anyway, here's the mint. Uh, you can see we've got most of these are taken off. Uh, we did have one that did not uh, like being transplanted, but the rest of them they still seem to be standing firm and uh, not showing any sign of issues. This one here looks like he kind of is leaning, doing a little bit of a lean over this one here to give him a kiss or something. And we got the sage there in the middle. Looks to be going okay doesn't seem to be turning brown or anything so uh, we're keeping that nice and moist so that way it can set some roots 
And of course we got uh, Mr. Poinsettia or Mrs. Poinsettia, whichever. Looking good. Some new growth on some, some top here. You can see there's some new growth coming out of there. New growth there. A bunch of new growth over here. You can see all the nice red coloration on the leaves. This plant's going to really be uh, looking nice for uh, Christmas. So we've got a little bit of dead leaf here. Of course, that's going to happen. I mean, it is a plant, and it's going to you know shed leaves. That one there. And then we build those back there. It's all the way up to here. Second rung. That's like the uh, that one there, and then the other one that's over there with the older plant. But this one here, I mean, that's just that's a thick, thick stalk. It's got fruit set. There's some big, big tomatoes on there already, and uh, it's looking good. Looks like it might be getting a little, uh, a little bit too much light back here on these uh, this limb from this uh, 300 water. Might be a little bit too close to it. So I may snip off that limb after I get done filming the video. Some more uh, dead limbs, or, you know, side shoots that I'm going to have to trim off of these. Some of these, I think I might actually trim back the uh, the second year plant that I've got coming up and coming over the tops of these, and just getting rid of that growth after I get the tomatoes off of there that it's growing. So I really don't want to have it going clear across, you know, the tent too far. So I've got these new generations coming up. I mean, this one here. It's already up to here. It's going to be reaching third rung by probably in another two weeks. And uh, it's going to have to start going over the top eventually. And along with this one here, it's already reached the top of the cage. And it's got a lot of fruit set on there. And so I want to make sure that I'm giving these plants, the newer generation, the ability to really thrive. And you can see there's the, uh, I thought you guys might find this funny, there's that little pop-up sunflower. It's got quite a few uh, little... Uh, flowers on there. The center one I believe has already bloomed out, but it's got some more popping around the side, so that's kind of nice to see. And then, of course, we got the basil, which Paul and I have really been uh, eating on, and this stuff is just great. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. We've got basil that we're going to be using all winter long now inside this grow tent, and we've been putting this in uh, with the tomatoes we've had outside, especially the uh, the Rose OG and the German Johnson uh, Brandywine tomatoes, we chop that up and we use it with, uh, you know, chunks of this basil diced up, mixed in there with some balsamic vinegar, and that is good, especially when you get the nice fresh mozzarella cheese that we pick up to use with it. And uh, that's one of my uh, lunchtime favorites. All right, well, that's kind of the update for this tent. I don't know if there's anything more I need to, to show. I mean, we've got all those plants in there. They're growing pretty well. I did take out one of or a couple of the pop-ups that were in there because they were getting a little long and leggy and they were coming up along the side of the tent and I don't want to deal with what I had to last winter where I had a bunch of these leggy long plants going up clear to the ceiling of the tent and then they would produce like maybe two or three tomatoes but then I'd have to deal with this huge mass just kind of hanging out in there that didn't really produce a whole lot of tomato. So and one thing I'll, you know, you might notice I took out that uh, I've shown it in the other videos for the uh, mid-size tent, but I took out that, uh, I believe it was a T8 bulbs, or T10s, I can't remember which they are, I'd have to look in the, if you look in the show notes below here, you'll see which ones those were. It's the long four-foot LEDs, I had the one that was back there in the back of the tent. I took that out and put it inside the mid-size tent, so if you guys notice that that's been missing out of this tent, I decided to move that because I don't think it was actually doing much value for these uh, bigger plants, because it's only a 3,000... K, I believe it's 3,000 or is it 5,000? 5,000 K? I think it's 5,000 K uh, Kelvin, you know, lighting. And I don't think it was providing as much light as I would have liked to have on these, but it does help the uh, Sally Greens because I've noticed that they seem to be perking up quite a bit. And with both of those hanging inside the midsize tent, along with the uh, LED lights that are above them directly, I should get my, you know, production that I want out of there. So that's kind of the update for the tent. Uh, nothing else in there really to, to speak of. <laughs> I mean, I could sit here and talk about this stuff for hours. If you guys have to get bored and then you turn off my channel and you think I'm just some kind of wacko that's hanging out under his house. <laughs> right? Well, this has been Brian. 
from PMB Homesteading. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my tomato, and I hope you guys have a good week. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Mmm. They're so good.